So the idea then, you've got to build a robot to enter these spaces. And, uh, and everybody wants this robot to be safe like this, and everybody wants this robot to enter these spaces. Oh, you can do it, no problem. And what you see is a lot of people will just simply go, well, if it worked in the ocean, and these ocean robots, we can take these ocean robots and put them inside the tank. It should be no problem. That seems really dumb. No, but there are actually people out there who have taken subsea or ocean robots and placed them in hydrocarbon. Successfully. They have done it successfully. And, okay. and, and, and... Well, I mean, I, I would think you're designing for different constraints. And, and this is me coming from a layperson's perspective. And not a lay... I mean, I'm a roboticist, but mm -hmm. this is not my, my specialty. I mean, I, I do mostly biomed. Mm -hmm. So I... Um, this is interesting. Um, so, I mean, I would think that there's certain things you would have to design for. But again, this is me just well guessing like an idiot. What people don't realize is in the early years, in the from 2000 to 2005, a lot of people were experimenting with it and, and putting these robots in. Uh, some successfully, some not so successfully, because it's a lot of because it's so sealed to the outside world that you can. Well, what what they've tried to do in it is they've tried to take right off the shelf. What people don't realize, naphtha, naphtha is a penetrant. Water is completely different. It's completely the opposite of what they're going into. So a lot of people in the early years failed to understand that the media they're going in, as well uh, for, for ball uh, ballasting, when you ballast the, the robot to go in and go in is to counter the... Uh, effects of uh, of density for well, yeah. water based so to make on it one. Load or sink, depending Correct. Where you want to be in the tank. So water based on one. Well, naphtha is 0.6. Okay. Oh, okay, 0.6. So everything in the naphtha. helps you from a weight perspective, I would think. No, you just drop. You sink like a like a boom right okay. to the bottom. Well, I mean, if you're using a water vessel, but I would think you could reduce weight. But I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. Well, what it was, and on top of that, it's a penetrant. So people would take plastic things that were used with plastics, put them in the naphtha, or put them in the diesel fuel, or put them in the kerosene, and they would wonder why when they removed it, everything was fat, ugly, and twisted. 